I got some exciting info to tell you. News to tell you, to be exact. Hello everyone, what is up? My name is the Mac Attack here, and welcome to a brand new video. Now, this is just an opinions video, thoughts and opinions about what I figured out and heard today. I am subscribed to this amazing content creator, Valx Blum, and he made a video in regards to Disney making an announcement that Ice Age will not be the only property that they're going to be taking claim of instead of Ice Age. So, let's talk about it, shall we? It is official, according to this paragraph, Disney doesn't not only have Ice Age to have future projects to be listed, but the next installment of Rio. You got that right. Rio. Let me tell you this. You'd think I'd be very happy about this because let me tell you. I love the Rio movies. I love these movies with a passion. They are fun, entertaining, and they are so good. The first movie, which was released in 2011, was such a great movie. The second movie wasn't as great as the first film, but I thought it was still good on its own. And the second movie came out in 2014. And we were still getting teased that we were going to get a third film and a potential spinoff film or series based on Pedro and Nico, which are two of my favorite characters in Rio besides Louise and the villain... Nigel. But, as for our hopes for another Rio film was shattered because of the sad news confirming that on April, April of, well, in this date here, Blue Sky Studios was shut down due to a COVID pandemic. COVID pandemic, huh? COVID pandemic, huh? That, 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 that sounds funny because you'd think that with the Blue Sky Studios shutting down that all the movie properties would be dead, right? Right? Oh, that's right. We get this movie here. And who's the one making this movie? Disney. Disney, Blue Sky has nothing to do with this film. And when you look at the trailers of this trash fire, compare this animation to the animation we've gotten from the previous Ice Age movies. And Disney calls this a Ice Age movie with god-awful animation. And don't get me wrong, I like a movie based on Buck. That idea sounds interesting and all. And I thought, I think that would be fun. But the reason why I'm so not hyped or excited about this at all is because of the lack of, the lack of hard work that Disney has barely showed with the animation of this project. You would think knowing Disney as a company making the most superb animations and the most beautifully done animations of all and the most realistic animations, you'd think that they'd spend their hard time work making this with beautiful animation and make it look cinematic. Oh, but no. We get, uh, we get this generic looking Netflix animated DreamWorks style of animation here. 
Ugh. So, of course, I am left at skepticism with Rio being continued under Disney. Look, I am aware that Disney may not always make Blue Sky Studios property movies under their own name since Blue Sky is not around. They may not always make their animation quality as bad as this Ice Age movie is, but you gotta think about it. The fact that they didn't take their time making the animation for this movie look as good as possible, and they just call it an original movie on Disney+, Plus, and it looks generic as all get out. That is... Poor work right there. That is poor work. And yet, makes me a lot more upset for the fact that Blue Sky Studios was shut down. Not because of COVID, as Google would say. Not because of COVID, because of Disney. They wanted the employees of Blue Sky Studios to be jobless. You would think that the Disney company would welcome the employees of Blue Sky Studios in, with open arms and give them a job at Disney. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no. We want them we want them to go home and uh be jobless. We want them to go home and be jobless and we want to steal their property and take a huge dump on their masterpieces that children grew up to in this time of being. I'll give a benefit of a doubt and hope for the best and keep my fingers crossed that Disney will hear us and make better quality animation and make it look like an actual Blue Sky movie this time when they make this new Rio film, like Rio 3. But if they don't, believe me, there's still going to be backlash going at this terrible of a company. <sighs> so yeah, my thoughts about this clearly are I'm skeptical. I'm happy to at least know that Ice Age and Rio are still being continued in a way. But I was just hoping that Disney would show the sincere of respect and actually care to make a good, faithful project to that franchise. But no. All this new Disney Plus Ice Age movie is, is just a big F you to Blue Sky Studios. That all is, that is all it is. And worse enough, I'm going to be watching it to see how bad the animation is when it goes on Disney Plus. I am hoping that Disney would at least actually show a lot more hard work with the next installment of Rio. Because that was one of the most beautifully animated films from Blue Sky Studios. And if they're going to just do the same thing that they did with the Buck Wild movie with Rio... That's going to be another fan favorite movie ruined forever for me. Because Disney just doesn't have any respect to Blue Sky Studios whatsoever. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. The Mac Attack, signing out.